All right, guys, in this next video, links to everything you're going to see in here down below the video. That way you can check specs, check prices, check what you think, get your own reviews on it. All of this stuff, when I turn the lights on in here, we're going to have a field day going through all of this stuff. All of it. Look, look, look. All of this stuff. All of this stuff. I've been out in the hospital, so we'll explain as we proceed right now. Even more of them. Okay, me and Ida Mae's out here to do projects, right? Look at her. Just brilliant, huh? Look at that face. Uh... <laughs> Guys, I've got an electric bike. We're changing it out to a 20 amp hour from a 7 amp hour lead acid. I have got brand new batteries. Now, I sold my pickup. I got way more than I paid for it. I got way more. Apparently, low mileage and collector. People like them. So... I've got two 200 amp hour with 200 amp BMS Power Queen batteries. Below this video, everything we're going to have in the next five or six videos, I'll put links to it. Okay? Go check them out. Check the specs. If you like them, check the price. Another thing is, is I was having a hard time. Uh, we had a battery stolen off the uh, front of a trailer. And I decided after that, no more. When you're talking two of those batteries, like 700 bucks, and that's the kind of batteries it was. So when you're talking about that, I found the cheapest 50 amp hour that you could put into a large uh, parallel and or series set, and I got me some. All right, so I basically bought three that gave me one free. Yeah, I told them I was going to do the video. And I've tested one, just one, and it is this one, and they handle. So you'll see it in the video. The second thing is, is I also made a deal with this guy, okay? Now, they got, since they got new models of these SunFun kits coming out, I got a good deal. Now, not on the cells. He ain't selling. These are great. These are automotive grade. These are what you call real automotive grade. Not that, oh, look, it's an Eve cell. It's just fine. No, no. I'll put a link to his channel down below my video. Y'all go check him out. Okay, SunFun kits. There's a thing about this guy. He's a real anal jack. I don't want to finish the word there. But that's good. That's actually really good. It's good to be that particular about what you source, okay? So he got me these, uh, a little discount, and got me these, got me the case coming, a big discount. So it was worth it to save 250 bucks for me to do this, okay? And it wasn't cheap, but still is worth it. Um, we have all of these we're going to go through. We're going to go through this, and then here's going to be something that you're going to love, you're going to love what I'm going to do here. Now, this little bitty, <laughs> this little bitty thing, it came to me as a wonderful thing. The, I, I got an email saying, we don't want to have this hauled all the way back to, I have no idea, Kentucky. <laughs> I've known. And I sign up for a lot of these notifications on this stuff. And uh, if I can do a video later, I'll kind of show you how. Um, if you don't have a video channel, they might not want to deal with you. But I just tell them, hey, look, man, give it to me for cheap. They won't give it to you for free. I'm not a promoter. If I'm a promoter, they'll be like, hey, they'll be kissing my butt. But since I'm not, you know, I paid $160 for that. They, they list for like $500, but I don't think they're worth it. But we're going to show you a competition between this and a green energy 600 watt. This one claims, I want you to show you this. To be 800 watts, and I don't know what what level of hurricane, maybe maybe Hurricane N could do it, but I don't know what level of hurricane it's going to require to do that because this right here is the PMA, Permanent Magnet Alternator, and that is just, I don't know, man. Now, the blades do go further than this on both sides, as you can see here. These are the Savannah style blades, and they do go further but it's all connected with plastic parts and you know now you know why i buy green energy wind turbines okay now you know why this is from a company called smrad or something like that it's got a low rating and that's the reason i told them when they offered me to buy it um you know when i got i don't know if it was them or their dealer 
I don't think it was that company, but it's 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 it, it's boxed from them, so it might be from them. I think it's just an eBay dealer that did it. But you know how you get Amazon returns, eBay, you know, you get them at a good price. So I got it, and we're gonna have this little hamburger, okay, compete against my my basically my my limousine beef, which is my green energy turbines. That's gonna take a minute because we're still waiting to get more pipe, kind of run low on cash. This here is a beautiful, beautiful, powerful, good quality. And like I said, the link will be below. This, they did wonders on. This is a sweet power, Zaya, okay? I'll pronounce them both, put them both down there, uh, inverter. I asked them specifically, and you're going to get to see in the video, the absolute improvements. So that company, this company saw me take this one and get the, and look this is like like feather light hollow stuff so that's i'm not bashing but 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 these guys with these bought dreams okay i figured okay this is worth 160 bucks to to dispel the vot myth or prove it i don't think we're going to prove it with what i'm seeing here the picture looked like it was like wow i could park my car under it for shade but it's not okay i, I might have made a 160 dollar mistake I might just auction it off on my channel for $159 so I can claim a loss. But this is the inverter that I've had for years. It is a sweet power. The company contacts me. My video apparently has some impact. And they contact me. And they say, I can send you a 50% discount. My ears go, yep. <laughs> my mouth goes, yep. Um, if you want to get another one. And I answer them back, like, why don't you send me one? Oh, no, I can't do that. Lose my job. Okay, fine. Well, you'd send one to some guy named Will. You would for free because, you know, Google sucks his ass, right? But I'm not Google ass sucked. I am just me. And I'm the guy that always tries to say, don't spend, don't buy a $250 charger when you can get that for 49 You get it? So I'm that guy. And they don't like me for that. They don't get their little bait. But this company says... What do you want us to do? Me. Well, I'm like, okay, well, that's that's cool. Um, well, let's start with this. LED. It's okay. But people have to come down here and check out what their inverter's doing. Most people wall mount it like that. Majority. Okay? And I'm like, um, can you put those up here? Well, no, LED too big. We can't fit. I said, we'll make a new screen. Oh, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> good. Uh, the second thing is, although I believe that those 10 millimeter and number uh, sixes are good, I feel I'm going to break that off because if y'all seen in my videos, I've had the connected, disconnected, you know, all back and forth. And they're like, well, well, that's 300 amp. And I said, well, what's next? Well, 450. But it don't need 450. And I'm going like, I don't like it. Boom. Look at that. And this ain't just built because of me. You know, I mean, they, they figured out bad reputation is a terrible thing to earn. And I told him, I said, you know, eventually I'm going to break that and I'm going to do a video on it. So now look. Now, way thicker, wider, heavier, everything. Even the cables inside are a grade higher. I tell you, that's important. The second thing is, I said, man, you know what? Your load up capacitors, your load up capacitors, they're not very good. You see? And if you're wondering what this is, I actually got something stuck in this fan and I, I burned it. And when I did, I had to replace that. So I did it. It's not the company problem. So look at them little bitty capacitors. They're sufficient, but it's like, man, what if I run this under a pretty high load long time? I don't want one of them popping. And I've done it, but I didn't want one popping. So what'd they do? <laughs> Steroids. They got big. Look at that. Same rating. But instead of the capacitor having a uh, um, um, 180 volt, I got 300. So, yeah, that's an upgrade. The second thing is, is I complained about that, or the third. I, I complained about this. It had that little terminal. If you can see... I added this one out of an old inverter. So that matches nice. I did a good job, right? It's not crappy. 
but it had the terminal and one outlet. I said, man, you're causing people problems. Now look, they took my advice. They took my, my write-ups, my drawings, everything, and look what they did. Now this is what you're going to get now. Everybody will get this now. Cool, huh? The other thing is, is the last thing is I told him, I said, man, this is crap. I don't like that. I can't, I can't slip this through. The, I can't, I, I don't want that wire in there. Oh, but that's normal. Everybody's is like that. I'm like, yeah, but not the way. I don't like that. The little bitty bone jack. Cause the, the, the wires are too close together on it. I don't, I don't like that. So what'd they do? I'm telling you, man. I don't know if I got influence or not, but look at this. And look at that. <laughs> Let me show you. Look at this little bitty tab. And you can tell I've had it plugged in too many times because it knocked shrink tape off of it. But let me see if I can get that loose. That's the other thing. Kind of hangs up in there. There we go. Look at this little bitty thing. Look at that. All right. What do you think? I told him. I need that fixed. Boom. And look. No punks. Now, what they learned, and they answered me back, is they say, oh, going by your design, it's going to improve cooling. Look at that. Look at that ventilation in that thing now. So don't be afraid to do what I did. Don't be afraid to tell these people, hey, that sucks. They'll fix it. They, they don't want to be behind. They don't want somebody else telling another brand to do something and make theirs better. One good thing about CN Sweet Power about sweep power, just call it that. The one thing about them is that they listen. They listen. Send them an email. They'll listen. If, if you don't, if you want a different color, man, they'll listen. <laughs> they'll respond. So we're going to go into that. We're going to go into this. We're going to do some upgrades. I'm even considering buying a second one of these, basically tearing it all apart, taking that top part off, making a seat, putting two together, making it a big a rim right there, a wheel right here to hook a lever to to make a steering wheel on one side hey you get it aluminum a seat a little floor plan considering it all right these over here because i we had a set of batteries stolen and we don't want to go there again um and it is it's not mine i have a renter out here so he's a renter and before he got here he had a brand new set of lithium batteries off the front of his trailer stolen and I said, dude, there's this, he said, yeah, but I couldn't put them anywhere. They're just, just too big. Just freaking barely too big to fit in anywhere inside the RV. And I said, you know what you need? Wait, wait, what? You need 50 amp hour batteries. You need 50s with a 50 amp BMS. Well, why is that? I said, because you can stash one in the bottom of the closet. You can stash one underneath the sink. You can stash one, you know, wherever you want. They're, they're harmless. It can't be hurt. Just make sure you run all your cables, which we've got cables for him now, with six gauge, all the way back to a main bus. And then you can put as many of these, up to 12 of them, all over, under the bed, next to the water tank. Just snake your cables. And we're going to do that. Make sure they're all equal length. And they go back to like where the controller is in the RV. And then the other thing is, as you've seen in that previous video, if you go back and look, these two babies right here these are power queens i have I, I i built a lot of trust in this company because the the lady that comes back and forth with me a few times on emails it's kind of hard to get a hold to but they answer um we got into a back and forth about certain things and boom they come out and put 150 bms boom they come out and put another um uh, heavier cables, boom! Every, it's like same way, same way as this, as this company over here. So don't be afraid to tell these people what you think. That battery, battery, it's a good mid-price quality battery so far. Um, I've been using it a lot. Okay, so I, I'm going to do a video on it. But God, I've cycled it like 20 times, and, and it, I probably need to do a video showing you guys. The other thing is this surprise. 
I don't know. I, I don't know who to re respond to. So I'm just going to put a wide world out there. Thank you. It might be from the company. It didn't come in a company, company box. It actually came in a box within a box. And we're going to do that. I'm going to review if this thing here really does what it's supposed to do. It's got a self-heating function. So these are all the things, all the things, all the things. So if y'all wondering like, yeah, this guy's kind of lazy. He's got all this crap. He's all right. Spent days in the hospital. The rest of the money I got out of my truck went to them people. So everything kind of got shut down. Little miscellaneous parts that go with things shut down. The fact that I've got two more of these because this is a hell of a nice design. And it's again for an RV. So we ended up with now we have three 100 watt panels. This Alto Solar has been these guys. Nobody's knocking them off. They got a patent or something, but this works awesome. everything look at a lot of previous videos go back subscribe you know, hit the subscribe go back whatever we're going to have a lot more of this soon the bike is probably next kira is eating it to eating it to bit to go after this and it has something nobody knew about a lot of people i don't know if you watched it but it also has backup lithium batteries that snap into it so this thing's going to go from a 12 to 14 mile range with lead acid to being eight pounds or so almost eight pounds lighter with about a 45 mile range between charges. And it'll probably go faster because that don't sag in voltage like the lead does when you get on it, you know. So, all right, just giving y'all some updates. Hate to have to do it that way, but days in the hospital, I tell you, it put me behind. I even lost a small contract, so a uh, solar install. But here we go. These are the processes and programs. And as soon as he gets me the box, the um, box to mount these in, these are 300, I think, 304 amp hour cells. They're huge, but they're going to go in and we're going to have this is going to go in our big motor home. Yeah, big 40 foot pusher. So There you go, guys. Lots and lots and lots and a sleeping item made to prove it. <laughs> That's something. Y'all be good. Look forward to it. Maybe a few days I'll start uploading these back to back. As soon as I get done with these antibiotics, I'll feel better, right?